Hi everyone, it's Jennifer here from Jennifer Biederman Jewelry. I am going to show you how to make this little ball earring dangle, uh, post earring. Um, it's pretty shiny looking. It's, you know, Christmas is around the corner and New Year's is around the corner. And uh, I know for me, New Year's, I like to wear blingy jewelry. But this is simple. Uh, I could wear this every day. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a post earring. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to encase a glass pearl or any type of round bead that you have. Uh, so, what, why I came up with this is because I have these um, round beads here, glass beads that I bought on sale at Fire Mountain Gems for about two bucks. Glass rounds, wow. When I got them, they're all damaged. They all have chips. Uh, I would never use this in a project because they're chipped everywhere. So what I decided to do rather than throw them in the garbage is I decided to uh, work with them. So you, this way here so you don't see any damaged um, areas, I'm going to encase it. Okay, so you'll need, this is a size 10 round. So the material list, the material list is this. A size 10 round you can use a size 8 a size 12 whatever you want uh, but I'm going to be counting for this size bead um, you're also going to need some size 11 delicas I'm using a size 11 silver and I'm using a size 11 gold you will also need two wire guardians just to uh, protect your thread so it doesn't break you'll need one jump ring and that's per earring, okay? And you're gonna need a post, um, a post uh, earring here. Now, these I bought in a package of these and a package of these. They don't seem to come together. So um, that's what you'll need. And I'm gonna be doing this with two needles. If you only have one needle, don't worry about it. I'll show you how to do it with one needle. But it's just so that to keep everything symmetrical okay that's why I'm using two needles so I have thread on two size 10 beading needles and I cut myself like this is fire line it's six pound and I cut myself about two arm spans an arm span is where you take your uh, thread you put it up to your nose and you stretch it out and I did two of those okay so and that's pretty much it. You're going to need, uh, obviously, um, well, not obviously, because you may not know, but you will need uh, two pairs of pliers just to open and close your jump ring. And, of course, some cutters or scissors to cut your thread. And that's really it. Um, so get your materials together. We're going to get started, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is one of your needles. I'm going to pick up my pearl, my glass pearl here, and I'm going to sew through um, until halfway through my thread because I want the same length of thread uh, going for on the right side and the left side because I have my two needles here. So right about in the middle, and then you're just going to sew back up through the hole several times until your thread is secure and it doesn't pull through when you tug. So I'm gonna go through about three times. And I'm gonna do a little tug here and my thread's not moving. Next step, uh, because this is a size uh, 10 millimeter round, I'm gonna pick up 17 uh, silver size 11s. So 17, and you're going to sew back up through, and they're going to sit right on the side of the round. Now, you see here, that it looks like I need to add a bead, because I do need to add a bead. But the reason why I'm picking up 17 is, well, I'll show you after. But anyways, just pick up a 17, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to sew back through all the beads. So just like this, sew back through the beads. 
just to secure reinforce. And then what you'll do is do the same thing on the other side. You don't have to go through this uh, bead several times with the other needle because the thread's already fixed on. So pick up uh, 17 uh, on your other thread and do the same thing. If you only have one needle, what you're gonna do, I came out of this bead, I'm gonna sew up and then pick up 17, okay? So do that and I'll be right back. So now I have this and I have two gaps here. So what I'm doing, one of my threads over here, I'm just gonna put it aside. So I'm gonna, I'm coming out of my last bead. I'm gonna pick up uh, size 11 and I'm just gonna go through all the beads. See, it just closed up that gap. And then, um, you're going to do it on the other side as well. Don't need to use both your needles for this. Just we need to just create the circle. And then we're going to pick up another delica and we're going to go through two or three or four beads. Okay, and actually no, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew up through these beads again until I get to, oh, I just like the reinforce. And see that top bead there? I'm gonna go, well, I didn't get through it, but. And then I'm gonna go through that bead and then I'm gonna go through a few beads, just like that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna peyote stitch. So I'm gonna leap, now I don't wanna get all tangled up, so my, my uh, needle over here, I'm just gonna stick it over here on the side just so it's out of my way. And peyote is just picking up a silver. I'm coming out of this bead. I'm skipping the next bead and going into the next one. And you're gonna do that until the end of the round. And it's hard for me to see because I'm working behind a camera, usually a lot closer to my face. Okay, so you skip a bead, go into the next bead, and you're gonna notice they're just gonna sit right on top of each other, that's fine, because as we go, it's gonna start um, sitting on the bead. So don't worry about that too much right now. Pick up a bead, skip the next bead, go into the next one. The first row is always more difficult because nothing is sticking out and you kind of have to really pay attention. So do that all the way around and I'm going to come right back to show you how to do the step up. Okay, so I'm just one bead shy away from my step up and I'm coming out of this bead right here. I'm skipping a bead. I'm going into this bead and up through this bead. I know that if you're a beginner, you kind of feel like going through this bead, but please pay attention because if you do, your whole project's gonna be off. So coming out of this bead, skip this bead, go into this bead. And if you can get up that other bead, just sew right through it, but I'm just gonna do one bead here. And now I'm going up to step up here so that I'm in position to start a new round. Now, it looks wonky, it looks weird, but this is really going to work out, I promise. So you just kinda have to push your beads down now, for the next row, you wanna make sure this is right in the middle. And this is why I'm using two beads, or sorry, not two beads, but two needles. Because I just did one row, I'm gonna oh, go over to this side and do a row over here, then I'm gonna do a row here, and I'm gonna do a row here. So if you only have one needle, what you're gonna do is you're going to sew through this bead 
and over to the other side and you're gonna peyote that side, okay? But I'm using two needles, so I'm just gonna pick up my other needle here. Where is it? I stuck it over here. And uh, I'm gonna peyote on this side, then I'm gonna switch and peyote on this side. Now, again, if you're new at peyote, which I need to get my needle over the side, doesn't matter, I'm gonna go right under. Don't worry about your threads all showing here because this is all going to be encased. So I just want to make sure it's right in the middle. I'm coming out of this bead. I'm going to pick up an 11 and I'm coming out of here, wait, skipping this lower bead, going into the upper bead. and you're gonna peyote. Now, so what you're doing is you're just gonna go into the upper beads, okay? Um, so let me do that, because I just wanna, I'm not doing it now because I wanna make sure everything's in the middle, and um, I'll be right back. Okay, so I did uh, several rows, and for my 10 millimeter round, this is how I want you to count. How many rows now I again I alternated because now it's completely right in the middle so how you're gonna count is two rows one two three one two three four okay now if you want to stay with this color you go ahead and stay with this color uh, but I'm gonna change my color to gold and then I'm gonna show you how when's the time to start using smaller beads because there's going to be a point where, whoops, yeah, I think I need to put in smaller beads now. So it starts encasing, and then we're going to start decreasing. Okay, so now I'm on my right side. I'm going to pick up a gold Delica, and I'm going to go through the next upper bead. And I'm going to do that all the way around. And then you're going to do that, once you've done this row, you will alternate over to this row and do the gold. So do this all the way around. My thread is caught. Okay. So do one row of gold or the same color. Then you're going to do one row of gold, then a row of gold, and a row of gold. Then I'm going to come back and show you what to do next. Okay, so now we have this. So I did two rows of gold, two rows of gold. Now it's time to decrease. And how do I know that? Is because look how they're starting to go upwards. They're no longer hugging the bead. So now we need the beads to hug the inner bead. So now I'm going to pick up a silver uh, 15. And I'm going to continue my way to peyote around. Again, doing one side and then the other side. And just do that all the way around. So do that to the end of the round. Don't forget to step up right here. Do it on this side, then this side, then this side. And I'm going to show you uh, when it's time to decrease so that we start covering over here because it's going to start to look like this. These are the decrease rows and I think it looks pretty interesting actually. So how many did I do actually? Let me see. One, two, three. So I went around. Okay, anyway, let me just work on this and I'm going to um, show you how many rows I did and what it looks like when you need to start decreasing because again your bead may be smaller or larger than mine so I'll be right back so now we have this and how many rows did I do you're gonna count one two three so this is how you count one two three and one two three 
Now it's time to decrease because looks, look what's happening. If I continue with my 15s, they're going to just continue bowing up and I don't want that. So on this side, I'm coming out of this 15. I'm going to pick up a 15 and you're going to do this all the way around. So you're going to go through this 15 and then the next 15 sticking up. Let me just get through there so you can see what I'm doing. So I picked up a 15 and I'm going to th through two upper beads. And when I pull, these two upper beads just closed in next to each other. Pick up a 15, go through the next upper bead and the next upper bead like this. This is a decrease round. Pick up a 15, go through the next upper bead, and without picking up beads, the next upper bead. Okay? You're going to do this all the way around, and then there's going to be a step up in this process, and I'm going to show you what that is. So do this all the way around, and I'm going to meet you at the step up of this round because it's a little bit different. See, now they're starting to sit where they're supposed to. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm one shy before the step up. See how it looks? It looks like a little diamond or star happening here. And I'm right at the end, so I'm gonna pick up one just as I did. And I want you to, I'm gonna move in. It's probably going to be really close, but I want you to see what I'm doing. Coming out of this bead, going into this bead, going into the next bead as usual. Okay, do that. Pull. Here's the step up because now we're just going to go up through that point. Okay. Now, I want to do this on the other side, so I'm going to do it, I, I can go around here again, it's not a problem, but, so I'm going to show you. So do this, do this on this side, and then you're going to do this. So see all these upper beads here? Right here, all these upper beads. You're just going to pick up one bead, and then go into the next one. See? Just like that. And you're going to pull. And that's what's going to happen. So pick up another bead. I'm coming out of this top bead right here. Right there. I'm going into the next top bead. I'm going to stay with you till the end of the round so I can show you the step up here. Top bead, go into the next top bead. Now if you wanted to, before you did this row, you can totally leave it like that if you wanted to. Next top bead. But because my beads are like, anyway, it's green, I want to cover it. Next top bead. Next top bead, almost at the end of the row, and the next top bead. So these are really easy to see. Now, this is my last top bead, so I'm going through this one. Nope, that wasn't my last top bead. This is my last top bead. So this is my last top bead. This is the first bead I put on. So my step up is right here. So I'm picking up my last bead. I'm going into the next top bead and popping up here. Now I'm in position to start a new round. So 
what you're going to do, so now you have this. I'm going to pull because see, I see some thread, but don't worry about that. We're going to go through all these. So do those two rows on this side, and then I'm going to come back to show you what to do next. Okay, so we're back. Now, what I ended up doing was I just enclosed this whole piece, and now I'm going to do this side. And so we did that row where it was like the star, and then we filled in the gaps, and now we're going to do the star again. So, um, you again, you just pick up a bead. I'm coming out of this top bead. I'm going to go into the next one and the next one, and I'm going to do that all the way around. Um, now, doing this, because what I'm seeing here, and you're probably going to see it too, that you can probably just put in a 15 all the way around, but I like this look. I like to be able to see some kind of a, see how it looks like a flower? That's why I continue doing it that way. So I kind of like that look. Um, and then you're going to continue that all the way around. And then you're going to do another row of just adding your beads through the top beads as we did before. And you're just going to do that until you close up the bead. So rather than bore you and do this whole process on camera. I'm just going to show you as you do this, you're going to see that there's less and less beads that you need to put around until you have four beads left at the top. So coming here and now see I'm right actually at the end of my round. I didn't have to put a lot of beads. So again, here is the step up. It's hard for me to see because I'm not close to my face. Here, let me just go through these two beads here and then through that upper bead. And now I finished that round. Now, as I'm pulling, it's starting to create, you can kind of see the bead underneath, which is okay. And then you're going to, wait a second. Yeah, so I have my four points here. So then uh, you're gonna add a bead in between the top beads. Then you're gonna do that again until you have four beads left. Okay, and then I'll be back. So I continued on my way doing the same process. And again, I really like this look that it's open a little bit and I can see the bead underneath, just like I can see over here. And I have my four last beads that I just put on and I'm just going to reinforce See, one, two, three, four. I'm going to reinforce there, go through my beads and I'm not going to cut off my thread. What I want you to do is because my earring is, is going to hang this way. Okay. You can hang it this way if you want to have that as the front, but I want to see the two gold stripes. So you're going to end up uh, coming out, let me just, we have one, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three here. I want you to go over to the third right one over here. Okay. So let me sew my way over there and then we're going to put the uh, beads in the wire guardian, then our jump ring, and then we're going to make the post earring and we're done. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've sewn my way over here, right here, and uh, see the two gold? I'm, like I said, the right, the third bead to the right, the silver, okay? Okay, so I just want to be right in the middle, almost, a little off. So what you're going to do is you're going to pick up two 15s, and you're going to pick up one of your wire guardians. If you don't have wire guardians, don't worry about it. Just put yourself a loop of beads, okay? I'm doing this so that I protect my uh, thread and doesn't break. So you have this. And then what you do with the wire guardian, the, the thread is going to go through this channel, and then you're going to go through the other side. And then you're going to add two beads over on the other side to connect. 
So I'm just going through the other side. I'm going to make sure my thread goes in that channel like that. I'm just going to pull it down and my beads are coming out this bead. I'm going to be going through the bead on the other side. So I'm going to pick up two 15s. See how my thread is coming out of this one? I'm going to go one, two, and I'm going to go into this one this way. Just like that. Simple, simple. Now, really want to make sure that my thread goes in that channel when I pull. And you're going to see that it's it seems a little off, but what we're doing is we're going to go up these beads. Well, I'm coming out here. Where am I coming out? Coming out here, going up these beads and then over that wire guardian, down these beads, and this way, and it's gonna just reinforce, okay? So do that, you've done this component, you're done. Then uh, for the next segment, we're going to um, make the uh, earring post, which is super, super, super easy, okay? We're still gonna be using the uh, size 11 uh, um, Delicas, and then we're gonna add a wire guardian here and the post, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to start with our post earring, and by to start, we're just going to pick up four silver size 11 delicas, and we're bringing that down our thread, sewing back up through to turn it into a little circle. And I'm just going to sew through a few times until I know it's not going to pull apart. I don't want to tie a knot. Oops, off camera, sorry. Okay, so we have this. Now I'm coming out of a Delica. Now I'm just, let me just check what I did here. This is where I add my gold. So in, I'm coming out of this one, just a second. I'm picking up a gold. I'm going into the next Delica. Like that. It's fiddly, fiddly, but it's gonna start to build. Pick up another gold go through the next size 11. You're gonna do that till the end of the round, we're almost done. Pick up a gold, go through the next size 11. By the way, I wrote a whole tutorial on this, so it's gonna be a picture by picture by picture. So if you wanna follow step by step, I have the written PDF tutorial. Now, here's my step up. I'm coming out of this 11. I'm going into this 11 and up the gold because we need to step up. And then up the gold. So now we have this. Now what I'm going to do, just let me look at my work. I'm going to pick up two silvers. And I'm going into the next gold. Pick up two silvers, go into the next gold. Pick up two silvers into the next gold. Okay. And here's our step up. 
So we'll pick up two silvers, go into the next gold, and then up that middle silver like this. Let me just double check to see. Yes, go through that silver. I don't have my written uh, tutorial in front of me, so I have to look at my work. Now, what you're gonna do is you're coming out of this silver right at the top of these two here. You're gonna pick up a silver. You're gonna go through the next silver. So it's gonna look like that. You're gonna pick up a silver go through the next silver. Pick up a silver, go through the next silver. Pick up a silver, go through the next silver. Almost at the end of the round, pick up a silver, go through that next silver, pick up a silver, go through the next one, so you're going up between these two, pick up a silver, go through the next silver, and then here's our step up, pick up your last silver, and then go up through that silver and then the next one. Now, let me just check something here. This is exactly the size I want for my post earring. That's it. Now, you're going to do the same piece for the bottom side, but what you're going to do is do this last row, don't do it, okay? So minus the last row that we did because we're gonna zip this up, okay? So you're doing four middle for your middle, then you're putting the gold, then you're doing that one round that we just did and you're not gonna do the last round, okay? And I'm gonna be back to show you how to put it together. Okay, so I made my second component here. Here's my first one that we made. And as you can see, I did uh, one row shy of what I did over here because we need to zip it up. So get your post earring ready. Just keep that aside. We're not going to put that in yet. And you're just going to line this up. So See this point right here? You want to get these two that are here. And this is what you're going to have. I hope you see this. Okay, so I'm coming out of this these middle two delicas I put. I have that one delica sitting out there. I'm going to sew through here. So we're going to be zigzagging back and forth. Sew through. We will turn. I'm coming out of this one. So I have, I was coming out, I did come out of this one, I went to this one, now I'm going into this one. Okay. Turn. Coming out of this one, I'm going into this one over here. Turn, coming out of this one, I'm going into this one over here. So zigzag. Now, don't make the mistake and close this thing all up because we have to put our post earring in here. So going into this one. Going into this one. Okay, now let me just check. I'm just going to open this up. 
Now I want the small one on the back of the earring. So I am going to just take my post earring and put that right through the middle, those four beads that we added, the first four beads. Pop that in there. There's our post. And you're gonna continue sewing this shut. Oh boy, fiddle, 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 fiddle. Okay, and just continue on. Going to here. I know this is really close up, but I really want you to see what's happening. You can see close up of my cuticles that are so dry and gross. But anyway, into the next one. Coming out of this one going into this one. So whatever's sticking up is what you're sewing through. Almost closed. Now it's pretty much closed now, but I'm gonna go around and re and force making sure everything is sewn together nothing's going to fall apart It's hard to see coming out of here, going into this one. So now this is what we have. Look at that cute little post earring. You know, I showed this to my girls. I said, would you wear this? And they go, well, we'd wear that. And they would totally wear this in a smaller size as a post earring. But listen, my teenage years was in the 80s and Listen, the earrings I wear was a lot more dangly than this. So anyway, they're 20, so I think they know what's happening uh, with the jewelry world right now. So I have to listen. Okay, so now you're going to go out a bottom bead, and you have to decide how you want this to hang. Do you want it to be like this, or do you want it square? So careful where which one you choose because you have to do it exactly like you did on the other one, and I did mine square. So I'm gonna come out one of these bottom beads, which is exactly what I'm coming out of. So we are picking up, we're gonna add the wire guardian on this side, so you're coming out one of your bottom beads, whether you're coming out this one or the one on the corner, one bead, you're gonna pick up two 15s, a wire guardian, two 15s, and reinforce, okay? Then we're gonna put this earring together, and I'll be back. All right, so it's time to put these this earring together, just like that. You need to get your jump ring, your pliers. I am picking up a jump ring here. I'm going to put it on one wire. I'm gonna put the other one on here, and I'm just gonna close it up and we're done. So, Make sure this is closed properly. Okay, you don't want any gaps. And how you do that is you just rock it back and forth until it clicks. And this is a teeny tiny jump ring, so. Because if you're selling this, you wanna make sure it's closed. See, that's not closed. See that? not closed. Make sure you pinch them together. And there you have it. You have your two earrings. One here and one here. And that's it. I'm going to be building on this uh, project. 
um, because I want to make a pendant also with this ball and I'll probably put tassels with some gorgeous Swarovski crystals and um, if you like this video you can give me a thumbs up that helps me a lot and if you because um, when you give me a thumbs up it just helps other beaters be able to find the tutorials um, so this is it thank you for watching I'm gonna put in the um, down below there and show more I'm going to show where you can uh, find the tutorial it's going to be at jenniferbetermanjewelry.com and on my Etsy site which is called Biederman Art Studio now I do Biederman Art Studio because I do I want to add more things other than jewelry because I work with clay and all kinds of things uh, to show you how to uh, do stuff so thank you, thank you, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you at the next tutorial. See you soon. Bye.